So this class I treat kind of like the online class, just so you don't pay the online fee, which is like 35 bucks a credit or something weird that goes to random places, doesn't come to me, it comes to random places. But I run it more or less that way. We run what we call a flip classroom where you're gonna watch the lectures because um, they're the same lectures um, offline. And then when we come to class, you, um, we're gonna work through the homework problems that you've struggled with or, um, and the way it's gonna work for now is on Tuesday, we're gonna go over anything you have from the notes that we really struggling with and homework problems. And then Thursday, we're gonna do homework problems again. Technically, the school wants me to meet with you every time because it's remote, not online. And there's a lot of different caveats of how it works like remote stuff, I own everything, online stuff, the school owns part of it, and it's it's a whole Hollywood. For now, we're gonna meet every time. Eventually, maybe, I won't guarantee this, um, though I did it last semester, we got, we got to the point where we only had to meet once a week. And so we'll do that on the Thursday if we do that, okay? Um, some people just do it straight online from day one. You're not allowed to do that. <laughs> they'll get fired anyways so let's go over what we have um if you're here here's the zoom information you already figured that out so here's the zoom for class it's tuesdays and thursdays between 8 30 and 9 45 i highly doubt we'll go to 9 45 most days because part of it will be asynchronous which means you watch the video um on your own time here's the this i have office hours on from 10 to 11 on tuesday um, so today, I'll have from 10 to 11 on Tuesday and from uh, noon to 1 p.m. Monday, Wednesdays. And here's the link for that. So it's a different link. So um, these links should be good all year. Um, if they change, I'll just update the link and let you guys know. All right. So here, you're just going to run to this. Um, just so the first steps, you're going to go through these first steps, just read the, this module. This is our book, Precalculus 7. I have the wrong book. <laughs> I legit have the wrong book. Um, so my book is the one we taught from last year. Let me show you. It's basically the same book. I'm going to stop sharing for a second. This is the one. I know so sick of it, so my name on it. Um, so Instead of the sixth edition, we moved to the seventh. And so there might be one or two weird things. Um, the difference between the sixth edition and the seventh, from what I've figured out, they switched three or four homework problems and charge you for it and fix one or two typos. So um, that's just the way it is. So that's our book. Um, I'm going to the screen sharing so you can see where I'm at. Uh, most of the time, if, we, if you, I'll be driving the whole course, and so you don't need to worry about anything. Um, that's up to yep, Okay. And so that's our book. We'll do web assign. Technically, you should click on the first homework, and it prompts you to sync the account. We don't use course codes. I use the advanced in integration. That way, when you do your homework, Canvas updates your grades automatically. So anytime you look at Canvas, you should have a real accurate view of what your grade is. Um, Oh, okay. I was just making sure there's no. Yeah, I have a mic and it has a level. So if you need me to turn up and down the mic, just let me know. Um, so we use advanced integration. Technically, how this works, let me go back to this. Technically, how this works is you just go. So here, you register, you just click on the first homework, it prompts you. Be sure to register using your register. If you haven't had one, you should because you're coming from 126. We're using LMS integration, so it might take a second for the size to talk to each other. AK, I sent IT an email that says, this is exactly what you do. Here's step one, here's step two, here's step three, right? And about two out of five times, they do it perfectly. And I don't have any problems first week of class. The other two out of five times, they don't understand how to follow simple instructions. <laughs> that just drives me nuts. And then one out of five times, I mess something up. We'll find out what it is. So it's still not working. <laughs> <laughs> um, when when we taught on campus, I would just literally walk into the campus special view guys like, hi, can I just can I just sit at your computer for four seconds? And I just go, okay, we're done. Right. <laughs> Long story short, they just go here um, into settings. Um, when I do this, uh, when I do an import course content, notice right here, there's one issue you have to fix the security. 
uh, security needs are set. So you just click on this, you click on the little thing, you click the little security thing, and you type in the code I send to them, and we're done. But I have a feeling it's going to be a little bit of time this time because they asked me, well, what's your web assigning uh, account? So if you don't need my web assigning account, you need to do what I asked you to do. Click this, type in two security codes, we're done. Um, we'll get them. Long story short, if this, if it's not resolved by like Thursday or Wednesday, I'm just gonna move the first homework to next week. So you'll do three sections next week. It's not gonna affect you guys. I'm quite used to the first week, it's not working. I wish it wasn't so, but it is. Um, here's how to set up notifications. So I'm not gonna email you guys anymore. I'm just not. Um, just follow this and that way when I um, put a little note and email you. Uh, for technical help, here's IT. Everything in this class is due at 10.30 p.m. Like almost everything is due at 10.30 p.m. And the reason is, is IT help desk closes at 11. That way you have time to call if anything goes wrong. Um, here's a Canvas Zoom guide. Um, Linda's a wonderful resource for all our, you know, it's wonderful. I learned Photoshop and other stuff through that. Um, Office of Online Education website, that's not 100%. Academic integrity policy, please be careful with academic integrity policy. Um, one of our professors, I didn't do it, one of our professors did, went to like a CHEG discussion board during the final and, and when final questions came up, they asked CHEG for their email accounts so they could, you know, literally prosecute them. I was like, hi, that's, <laughs> so when, it, when you're taking your final exam, don't get on CHEG, someone's watching, right? So just maintain the academic integrity. Um, university policies here. Um, you're gonna do the introductions and this. And so we'll go back to this. Okay, so um, here's a little, this is just, they said write a snippet about you and put a silly picture. Here's a silly picture of me that I took myself. So it's not great. <laughs> um, and just a snippet about me. I used to teach at Portland State, now I teach here at UNLV. Um, yeah, I have two, I'm an animal lover. I bought two baby basset hounds last term, but they're not so baby anymore. In fact, they're gonna get it spayed tomorrow. Um, so you'll see them running in now from time to time. Just expect them, they're crazy. <laughs> they're puppies, right? Um, all right, so import course content. No, we're good, we're good, we're good. All right. Um, all right, um, course introduction video. This video, so I, every time I make a video, I crop it, except for you guys, so you probably won't get the, these videos because you guys are on a different one. So I'm gonna basically crop this video and stuff it in here. Here's the last, here's the last time I explained it. I haven't changed that much, but I'll switch it out for this week, uh, today's sometime this week. Here's your syllabus. So let's open this in a new tab and just look at it. So you can download this. Um, Here's the class, it's remote location. This is my name, this is my office. I'll, I will be in it like maybe four times this year, total, um, just because we're still in COVID lockdown. Um, prerequisite, you're supposed to pass 127 or good so far. Um, we're now in the seventh edition of Sunday, uh, this. We're using a web assign account. This is just part of the course. Um, the way you're, this is how you're, the weights are. So it's 10% for online homework. So you're going to do online homework um, every every week, basically. And that's where 10% of your grade. 5% is to show up for attendance. I'll explain how those grades. You're going to fill out notes. I'll show you how that's done. That, that's 10%. Discussion for is 10%. There's going to be a check-in quiz. They're really, the really, the department writes these short little quizzes and I just give them to you. And, and then if I don't like them, I fix them. Um, these are worth 5%, you get two tries on them. And at the end of each chapter, you're gonna take an online chapter test, which is basically homework just without 50 tries. So with the homework, you have 50 tries to get it right. At the end of chapter test, you have two, okay? Um, a midterm, so in the midterm, um, so last term, they didn't run the midterm, I ran the midterm. The way it works is I'm gonna give you half, half of it you're gonna have to do by hand and I'll grade it. And the other half will be on, um, um, we'll have a sign through the online computer. And the q and final, they do run. Um, they did it on website last time. So you can see these little things. 
these little stars, it means I've changed something for COVID. Learning outcomes are the exact same. Um, uh, hints on the exam is old, kind of forget about it. it did you have me keep it in, but it's old, forget about it. Uh, of course, schedules, separate sheet, I'll show you that in a second. Uh, flexibility statement, just because we're in COVID, um, lockdown, we can't meet. Um, things might change. I don't know, we all may get vaccinated and go back to class. Who knows, right? <laughs> or the vaccine might mutate and we all die and we don't care anymore. Who knows, right? Uh, <laughs> I know it's terrible to say, right? But and so we don't know. It just this allows me to. This just allows me to change things in order for you. Um, it's just a flexibility thing. Saying if we ha if we go back to in person exams for the final, it's we're in person exams. So this basically says things might change during the course. Just be ready for it. Um, attendance. So the way attendance works is I'm going to click on this attendance module right here. I'm just open it up. Um, if it wakes up and i'm just going to mark you all guys here so i think you get like one point if you're here half a point if you're late and zero points if you're not right and this means no points right and so the way it's going to work is um just to make my life easy you're allowed to miss 15 percent of your canvas attendance so you can miss 15 percent of classes no effect your grade right and then every five percent after that will cost you one of your five attendance points for the quarter so, you, you know, if you got like 80, you know, if you show up 86% of the time, you get four points. You show up 82% of the time, you get, you know, four out of five. Same with you only show up 80, 73, you only gets like two out of the five points and anything after that, you know, it's like less than 65, you get a zero. But if you showed up to work less than 65% of the time, you wouldn't get a grade at all, right? You get zero paycheck. Um, so this just, it's an important, um, for on-campus classes, remote classes, they asked me to take attendance as well. Um, how many days is 15%? Um, so this, so 15%. So let's see if I can figure this out real quick. So there's 30 days total. Um, so 15% would be three. I think it was three days. Okay. Um, and if you're late, you kind of lose some of those points. Um, but if you are if you know you're gonna miss class for a very specific reason, like I have a doctor's appointment or I, you know, I have work that day, if you just send me anything, um, I'll mark you as, I'll mark it as nothing, right? It'll, you'll, you'll be left as a didn't count, right? So here's you're here, here's you're not here, here's your light, right? Um, and so if you show up before I finish taking attendance, you're here, okay? If you show up after I take attendance, I take attendance again at the end of class and say, hi, I'll make you all everyone late. And then if you if I know if you send me a note saying you're not here, you get a nothing, okay? Which is not counted for against you. uh okay uh i'll email you because i have a doctor's phone in the next class cool. perfect um sometimes if you email me i might just mark you as here just to make my life easier because then i don't have to remember it's like oh i checked that person off <laughs> okay um technology says you're allowed um usually i'll mark you as not but some days i'm like i'm just not going to remember so i'll mark you as here um you're allowed a non-programmer, non sign character, prepared no time during class, assessments, when you use cell phone, laptops, iPad, blah, blah, blah. Things are over Zoom. You can use whatever you want. We're never going to know. We're legit never going to know. Some of the departments uh, make you, uh, during the exams and stuff, have the camera on. Um, math department decided didn't want to be creepy that way. And so we're not. Um, I get why you would do it because how else you're gonna tell they're not cheating your faces off. But you know, at the same time, I don't want to sit there and stare at all you guys. Uh, you know, like watch all the videos, right? <laughs> I just, I just don't. Um, so, filled out notes. So the notes are the one thing. So I'm usually pretty loose on things, but the notes are the one thing I'm gonna be a little bit of a stickler on. So, 
every week you're going to see these notes. So I'm just opening this in your tab. Every week you're going to see these notes. I type these up. I spend an obscene amount of time typing these up for you guys, right? And you're going to fill them out. You need to fill them out exactly on these notes so that it needs to look. I'm going to show you what it should look like. Hold on. How did I put that up? Your notes. So they need to look something like this right here. They should have that. They should be filled out. Um, and, when you, and then they should look something like this. I'll show you two good ways of doing it, and then I'll explain um, what happens with that. So you just you print these out, or you just download them, whatever works for you. And then you're going to upload them here. You're going to upload them here. Yeah, and there'll be an upload button. Uh, can I hit Zoom View real quick? Thank you. Yeah, so you hit some assignment, and then you're going to upload a file, right? And it has to be a PDF because I've blocked it that way, right? Um, so you just so you're going to fill out the notes. So you're going to watch the lectures. The lectures are us filling out the notes together. Okay, so you don't. It'd be good to pause the lecture and try some of the things from time to time, right? Um, and some and some of the lectures with some live classes where I force the pause, you can just get bored. Um, and you can put them up here. So there's really two good options of doing this. Um, can we handwrite them and upload them as a PDF? So here, here, here's here's the rules. Here's the rules I'm going to play by, right? Because some of you. Um, let me be very clear with the rules. Hold on, where's my silver line go? All right. Um, therefore, you must print these out and write these notes on them. So they must be, the notes must be on the same as the PDF provided. So the preferred method, the two preferred methods are the following. is one, you print them out. Um, one of them is you print them out, you just hand write them, and then you just use a phone scanner to scan them in. I suggest um, this one. I use Adobe Scan. It works great. It's wonderful PDFs, and since they are the owners of the PDF land, right? Um, it works great. It makes really clean, small PDFs. 90% um, of the time, your PDFs won't load, or they won't load on my end, is because you made them too large for some reason. Some reason, some guys, sometimes you guys have like 50 megabyte or 100 megabyte PDF files. I'm like, it shouldn't be that big by any stretch of the imagination. It should be maybe one or two, right? Um, so the, you press print them out on that. The other one is you just do it digitally on an iPad or a tablet, or some people do it on their phones. Either way it works. If you cannot do that, if you cannot do that, you must get permission from me, right? Um, since you can always just go to the computer and do that. Um, anything else will not be accepted. You must get permission from me if you cannot do that. And you have to explain why you can't do that. And, I, and I'll tell you what the caveat is, if you can explain why you can't do that. And um, this is the only one I'm really picky about because when I allowed anything to be turned in as notes, I got people doing half the notes saying it was all there when it really wasn't. And it was just an argument and a fight. And I, it just want, I just need to keep something simple. If you cannot do it, this is what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to get a white sheet of paper. You're gonna have to get an exactly white sheet of paper after you got a, a permission from me. You can get a white sheet of paper. You have to make this carbon copy. You're gonna to have to write math 121 pre-calculus. You're gonna to have to write section 151. It's gonna to have to look the exact same. Okay, the exact same. It's the only thing I'm a stickler on <laughs> because if I if it's not, it's a grading fiasco, right? Because it's hard to grade, and then when I give you a grade, you you know if it's not all there. You disagree with it, then I have to point out you missed here and here and here, and you're like, "Oh, can I make it up real quick?" And it just ends up being hours and hours of work on my end. That is, it's just not necessary. Okay, it's a quite a bit more simple to print it. Yes, please just print them. I worked all the, I did all the work, and I want you to put it in a notebook. I mean, because I would just grade the notebook when you guys were. I just have it all in a notebook, and that's what I grade. I mean, this is what I did. Is you just over, you had graded a notebook. And now that you have a notebook that you have your own book, right? Because most of you just get the digital because you only have to pay. Um, 
and you only have to pay like 100 bucks for just the digital access and then you're good now you have some sort of book to flip through and do stuff when you're doing the homework and exams and stuff so that's why it's there all right um if you do not do that you'll get your homework through them okay so that's how the notes go the notes oh one other thing so the notes so you're going to see something called week there's two sets of videos for you there's one called week one videos i'll show you what that is and so this is just literally i'll just open it up in youtube open it up in youtube right it's just literally me going through explaining everything here writing out the notes right <laughs> um this is how we do this this is what we're looking for and it's just and so it's just and you can see my cursor running around so i'll explain stuff and talk to it and so it's your job to watch the videos before you come to class and then class will be short okay um class will be short and so and then you'll see another set of videos um you'll see another set of videos um, let me show you a set of videos real quick. And so I asked, ooh, we're still in screen view. That's fine. Um, these are George. George is another teacher who teaches us, and he graciously allowed me to put my videos on the, his videos on the website too. He's like, they're on YouTube, you can access them anyways. Here, hold on, let me shut the door so it's not so loud. Okay. So if there's anything on my videos, you don't. It's not well explained, or you just want to explain again. You have also George's videos. Yeah, George is great. I love George, and so um, so you have his videos just right there, easy for you. Okay. Um. So so yeah. So basically, each week, the way this class runs, you're gonna see this week. This is the Monday of that. It's just the week, just for me to say week one. Just a way of me keeping track. You're gonna go through this module. Explains everything you need to do. Um, so the first week you can just get used to having flow, you can do this, you can need a website account, and then you can have a to-do list. So I go through the started, register for this, get a gain access to all assignments, that's still in the works. Um, complete an intro, so this, watch all the lecture videos, attempt all the homework, do the quiz by Thursday, so we'll definitely probably move that one later. Uh, post your initial questions to the discussion board Wednesday, uh, turning your notes by Friday, and then the final discussion and stuff will do then. And so you just have a little to-do list every week and um, you go through that. Um, here's the first thing you should be doing that you can do this today is it's, um, you just type in introductions, right? And you introduce yourself and you go through this. Um, you know, just give a short introduction for 10 points of discussion, okay? So you can do that today. You're gonna print out the notes, watch the videos, fill out the notes, and then um, you're gonna do discussions. And so there's a little discussion board here. And this is for homework. And this is graded for 10 points. So you get 10 points every time. So you can, when we have access to the 5 one homework, just upload, you just need to, I say you get five points for asking a question, five points for answering a question. You really just get, five points per post, right? So you say, oh, here's another video I like that explains it well. I don't care what your post really, as long as it's somewhat math related. Um, you get points for being part of the discussion, okay? All right, let's go back to the syllabus real quick. Yeah, so you just get points, um, you'll get points. And being part of the discussion is like 10% of your grade, so please do this. Um, do we have to print out the notes or can we have them on open in PDF and editing that? Oh yeah, no, I. If you if you do it on like I did mine in Photoshop, I mean that's a little excessive. <laughs> you do it on like Evernote or something, that's fine too, right? Um, yeah, most people do it that way. Most people just open the PDF in in some sort of PDF editing app, just write the things. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, save trees, and you know I'm all for saving trees. Um, Homework will be done on WebAssign. I'm going to open up WebAssign real quick. WebAssign. So this is where you do your homework once you have access to it. <laughs> yes, I mean. Yeah, here's my big password for you. Should be bigger than that, but it got grumpy. Um, so this is WebAssign. Yours will look different than mine. This is your class. I have zero students registered because it's still not synced. 
Um, and so here I can show you. So the quiz is just really, your quiz will look like this. It says here, just find the other coordinate. And here's the answers. Um, this will change, right? These, these numbers are randomized, of course. And so here you just answer three questions, right? You get two tries. And just make, did you pay attention, right? Did you pay attention to what you're supposed to do, right? Um, and then you'll do this homework. Um, and you get 50 tries, and these are about 12 questions along. And they, you know, you just go through and do all this, and, and you hit submit. And if you get something wrong, you get 50 tries. So um, some of the, and so, so the discussion board should be over this right here. Any questions you have for this or how to type it in or you didn't understand anything <laughs> or just respond to people. So you need to submit two, um, two posts a week. I really don't care what it is because if I was too picky, it'd be, it'd be too hard to do two posts a week, right? So you need to do two posts a week for the homework. Okay, all right, let's go finish the syllabus real quick. So that's where the homework, the exams will be on there. I'll go over the exams with you on that once we get to that point. Um, academic integrity, it's still in play. play. Uh, do I have homework on there twice? Apparently I have homework on there twice. Yeah, I need to fix that. <laughs> Makeup policies, if you have documented excuse, you go through this. If you have COVID and you, uh, if you know you have COVID and you, you submit it somewhere at UNLV, I really wish I knew because they moved it on me again, right? Um, Especially if you get hospitalized, they send you, uh, they send the school send you a link that says hi, you have like a two week hiatus from anything, right? Um, so just let them, just let them know and they'll let me know and I'll work with you, okay? Um, assessment and testing, everything will be likely over web assigned for now. Tutoring, the tutoring's uh, currently done remotely. I can see if I can get this information. I think they shut down the tutoring clinic completely. They did it for one term and they decided not to last term. And I don't know whether they're, they're going to do this term for any tutoring. Um, here's university policies. This is just a whole bunch of stuff I have to list. I mean, it's just a lot. <laughs> a whole lot, right? You have to have a diversity statement. Here's the writing center. You know, you have to use your rebel mail. If not, I don't know it's you, right? Um, here's the library resources. Um, verifying for online course, final exams. If you disability resource, right? If you if you're part of the, if you have DRC exemptions, you know who you are. Um, since everything's online, most of the time it's like extra time for class. Well, most of the time I just open, the chapter tests are gonna be open the second I put them on, right? So you'll be open for days, right? So there's no time limit, okay? Um, and that I don't think in this guideline for respect, please don't curse during my class. Um, Electronics, you know, all the electronics for entering the room. Yeah, that's um, most of this is void, but I can just change it out. Right, so that's how the syllabus runs. Let me just do um, go back to modules. Let me just show you this. And then, so here's our plan. Here's our tentative plan for this. And I say tentative on purpose, that means I can change this, right? Uh, we're going to do introductions today. We're going to do the syllabus today. Uh, you're going to do five one on your own. Uh, we'll talk about. We'll do five one questions on Thursday. Um, so watch. So watch the video and fill out the notes. So you can do that even if we don't have access to the homework. I'll I'll probably call IT and talk to them today. Um, next week we're going to do two more sections. The week after that we're going to do two more sections, and then you're going to take your first uh, chapter test, right? Um, so you can see the first chapter test. It's just basically a long homework that I'm that you only to get two submissions because some because I know for a fact you can gain the homework, right? You can just type in like if it's multiple choice of four, you can just click one. No, 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 no. Oh, I got it, right? You can game the system. So the chapter test is like, well, does he really understand what they're asking? Him? Um, week four seems like a lot of sections, but if you from the book so here we take everything so basically we build up all the trig in the first week using the unit circle right and so we use the unit circle to build up all the trig 
week four where they do the first four sections is they then build all of trig using triangles. I'm pretty sure most of you learned how, trig, how to use trig using triangles. If not, we just learned all of trig using unit circles. So it seems like a lot of sections, but it's really a lot of review, okay? It really is. Um, then we just go back to about two or three sections a week. Um, we're gonna have the midterm right before spring break. And I do that on purpose. Um, that way, when you go on spring break, you don't care about my class. You literally, literally don't care. You can just go off and not care. And there's nothing to do. There's nothing to worry about. There's no exams to study for. It is truly a break. OK? Um, and then we'll just do the other half of the class. And then um, I give myself a buffer week, just in case we need to finish up something or something gets pushed late or who knows what. Um, and then we'll review for the final and the final exam. The final exam um, is section will be on May 14th. They usually do it between like one and between like, what was it, 11 to one last time? Okay. And let me be very clear on this. The department runs the final exam. There's absolutely no makeups or rescheduling on it, right? They're super strict about this. They're super strict about this. You either have to have a doctor's note that you went to the doctor for something you couldn't avoid doing, right? Um, you have to have military leave note or the actual death certificate of a media family member. Other than that, they don't care. They will literally say, that's nice, right? <laughs> Too bad. It's pretty brutal. I mean, I get it if you have, because they have to deal with a thousand people, you know, climbing, and, you know. And so please put that on your calendar. May 14th is when you'll be taking this exam. If you work, they don't care. They'll tell you to take the day off work. Um, it's it's just pretty bad. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I get it. I hundred percent get why the department does it because if they if they were just being super squishy, it's like, oh, I had sniffles, I didn't want to take it. It's like, yeah, well, that's but you know, if you have coronavirus and you submit it to the department or you submit it to the thing. They have to take it. So, um, so if I don't want to break, I need to break my mind. Like, yeah, that's basically what they will have to do. Oh, it's rough. Uh, don't get, don't get. Uh, I'll get you really prepared for it. Um, I really will. You, you, I think it's. I think you still get two tries uh, since it's remote, which is super nice. Um, because, and then you have everything. And I'm pretty sure in my videos, I teach you how to use Wolfram Alpha. <laughs> I'm 90% sure in most of the videos, I teach you how to use Wolfram Alpha to check all your answers. And if you don't know how to use this website to find stuff, uh, you know, like equals you know, pi over, Um, yeah, I'll tell you what X is and it fills it out for you, right? And so um, I'm pretty sure I teach you how to use this to solve almost everything. 